What's good, YouTube? Hold on, hold on, let me turn it on. Alright, what's good, YouTube? I'm gonna show y'all how to PC check. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm not gonna put no crazy music in the back, but that's kind of trash. So you gonna listen to some, some jazz song? I don't know. I, I got some random playlists going right now. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but basically, let me let me close on my notepads. All right. Basically, right. Um, the first start off, you know, you gotta you gotta ask them to start their screen, right? You know, they they need any desk, blah blah blah. You connect to the any desk. It's simple, right? Once you do that, I'm going to teach y'all how to PC check them, right? So the first thing you want to do is go to their Google, right? You're going to go to their Google Chrome. Whatever browser they use, it don't, it don't really matter. And search up Process Hacker. And then Nightly. Right? Very important. You want to download this one? I'm not going to download it. It's going to say that it's, that it's dangerous. It's not dangerous at all. Like, it's just not dangerous. So, download it, right? I'm going to launch it. I have built process hackers because I'm a nerd. Uh, run as admin. Alright. What you want to do from here is the first step is you want to type explore. Right? You go to properties. Uh, you'll be on this screen, right? So, you want to go to memory options strings change this 10 to a 4 image maps hit ok on anything that you do for properties on, on strings you're gonna do 4 and double click the boxes go to filter contains case insensitive and this do dot exe all their exes will pop up uh, if you want to really like do faster then scrolling through all these EXEs, you could go contain. You could type in the cheat name like Yulin. Uh, for I make, I make IP fingers, so like I have, I have something called Yulin. So you, you always want to verify like, uh, like what it is. Make sure it's real Yulin. Uh, go like exit out of the. Hold on, let me change the song, bro. This gay ass. Ooh, weird song. Yep. But um. Once you do that, exit out, go back to this, and go to filter, and then you could do dot .rar, and you can see all their rar files. I normally do that first before I uh, do like you and all that, but recently I have it. Um, I'm going to link in the description these exit. They're not my methods. They're, they're leaked, not res methods. These are leaked. Um... But basically, you can take like commands out of here. So, like for example, it says CMD prompt methods. Press Windows key. Okay, it's basically telling you, you know, open CMD, right? Now it says press Windows key. Type in this, right? So you would copy and paste this part, and you would open CMD, and then, and then see how it says slash commands.txt. So once you hit enter, oh wait, wait, wait. I think you have to run it as an admin, I'm pretty sure. Once you do this, it says commands. Well, I don't know if these methods are good. So, as, as you just saw, that was terrible. Um, they got event viewer, even. Jesus. They got uh, Windows R method, so like Windows plus R equals like this. You can copy and paste this. Windows R. And then just do this. As you can see, I just opened this. You guys saw me open it, and it's right here. So there's that. There's these I'm showing you right now. Um, simple. Like this is like simple shit. Only for Windows 10. So it'll tell you this is only for Windows 10. Press Windows R and type in recent. You pretty much don't have to do that because of this. But now let's get into regular commands. All right. So, you could open it like this, or you could do Windows R Reg Edit. Mine never launches, because mine is, like, kind of dumb. But once you do that, you can go here and cop one of these commands. Um, you could do this. This is to check uh, any DLLs, like any DLLs that have been injected. You want to make sure you copy the whole thing. You don't want to do like me. So 
see how I keep my shit up, bro. Oh my. Just do this, and then you want to go to this top bar. And make sure it's blue, and just hit Control V and enter. Oh my god. Do these dudes' methods just not work, bro? Okay, well, th this guy's methods suck. Um, let's find one that works. User settings. Alright. Go here. Right at it. Do that. And then you wanna go to the one that's in z one zero zero one. And then take this. And you could just basically like search these. Uh normally you'll be like towards the bottom somewhere. But these are EXEs. Um something else you can do in process hacker is go here or I already had it in, but type in explorer again, go to properties, memory, options, strings, remember anytime for an image map, and then wait for it to load, and then you go to filter, and then you can do dot bat, oh, now dot bat, this isn't occasionally cheats, but this is just like, like I have a lot of bats, like, <laughs> You might be able to find something in here, cause uh, you can probably you can probably hide cheese somewhere in here. Like, uh, hold on. Like this, like well, I guess in a better actually, I'll make another video about that. Um. So basically, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna keep this in here, but I'm also gonna add one more method. So, and also, when you're like PC checking, if you ever see my videos, I always have like three notepads open. Um, never keep one in one note. Never keep your whole thing in one notebook and one notepad. But this, I'll send this. I'll update this. But uh, copy and paste this. Go to. Um, CMD, copy and paste it, and this this will show you like when they reset their PC. So like if their PC looks like it has nothing on it, uh, you can do this. And if they ha if they have had a P if they reset their PC in like three, two, one day, they can they can get banned. But uh, yeah, that's basically it for this video. If you want to learn how to PC check Evan, Jesus, even better. You can, um, if you go to my Discord, I'll leave the link in the description. All you gotta do is, like, like the video, and, like, DM me proof, and I'll, and I'll give it to you for free. But, yeah. I'm out.